Uh, last special topic, nutrition and sleep. Uh, in this topic, we're going to look at how nutrition could be used to optimize or improve our sleep. Many athletes have disturbed sleep, particularly during the competition phase uh, of their training. So there are a few um, do's and don'ts, right? Um, it, it's important to athlete, for athletes to educate themselves about sleep. Um, and it's important to screen athletes for, for sleeping problems. Um, and uh, athletes can benefit from naps. Uh, typically, naps should be 20 to 30 minutes in duration and in the early afternoon. Um, and you can bank sleep. That means it's okay to sleep in on the weekends. Um, athletes, please don't stay up late for something, uh, for, for, for uh, events or particularly on smartphones or social media, that blue light can disturb your sleep. Um, don't be excessively perfectionist about sleep. Um, you're going to have good sleep that nights and bad sleep nights. Uh, and, and it is a good idea to monitor your sleep um, just to see how well you're doing. Yeah, so athletes um, during normal training um, I have uh, sleep pretty well about 83% of the time, but with intensified training, that can drop down to about 78% of the time. So that's a 5% additional um, disturbed sleep nights. And this is going to impinge on your training adaptions. So what can you do um, to, to help um, uh, your sleep? Uh, first of all, you need to avoid low energy intake. You need to avoid high fat intakes um, right before sleep time. Um, and um, there's some evidence you might want to be uh, avoiding uh, high intakes of vitamin B12 meats and things like this before you go to sleep. Um, now, um, high glycemic index foods, um, more than one hour before sleep can be helpful. So uh, foods that are high in simple carbohydrates can help. Um, Diets high in carbohydrates do lead to shorter sleep latency. So if you're having difficulty falling asleep, maybe adding a little carbohydrate to your evening is the way to go. Um, diets high in protein tend to lead to uh, improved sleep quality. So if you're having low quality sleep, that is you keep waking up in the middle of the night and you don't have deep sleep, um, then a diet adding uh, protein before you go to bed, before you go to sleep will be a good idea. Um, tryptophan may be, um, may be an idea for some athletes to improve sleep quality, where you can get tryptophan from those diets that are high in protein. Um, I would not take melatonin because that can definitely um, alter your sleep onset time um, and create an artificial situation for sleep onset. Uh, and there is some interesting research, uh, and there's some interesting research regarding iron and then zinc and magnesium. Um, I think zinc, um, zinc and magnesium can be uh, helpful um, to improve um, sleep. So yeah, what are we going to do? Melatonin, mm, only if you're going to uh, take something like cherries and get a uh, natural source of melatonin uh, right around sunset. Um, carbohydrate, have, um, have a little bit of carbohydrate in the evening, have a high protein before sleep. Um, tryptophan, you can gain from that high protein. Um, avoid that, uh, avoid that high, those high fat diets uh, because that will reduce your sleep time. Definitely avoid energy restriction. Again, this is the big problem here for a lot of athletes, energy restriction leading to uh, poor sleep, leading to poor training. Uh, and valerian is a herb that um, can help uh, subjective sleep quality, um, but it's not something that I would recommend.